and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we are going to be getting into most of the hives on the front row here, and the goal is to remove any surplus honey. Now, now I'm not going to keep the honey. This is not going to be a harvest. I'm going to take the honey that I removed from these hives, and I'm going to store it and give it back to the girls in the winter if they need it. Um, the goal is to remove any excess supers that I have here. I just want to have the brood chamber, one medium super filled with honey, and then the exhaust system. I want to make sure that all these girls are prepared for next week or the week after, whenever this heat wave breaks, and I can begin my OA treatments. Um, so there you go, and there you have it. That's the goal. Now, I want to apologize in advance if I'm glowing. Um, the sun is right there. It's 11 a.m. in the morning. It's 90 degrees and 98% humidity, so it is a hot one. But we're going to make the best of it and get some work done. Let's get geared up. Okay, there's probably not going to be anything fun about this. These bees don't like you getting into their hives this time of year. Yikes. But I think something needs to be done. At least I don't know whether or not anybody else does this, but I just uh, I want to remove as much honey as I can before I begin the OA treatment. Hey girls. Okay, let me just verify that there is no brood on any one of these frames, and then I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Let me have a gander. Okay, we have honey on there and drawn out wax. I don't see any brood. And what do we have here? Another honey frame. And another honey frame. So. Here we go. And that is all honey, and I do have a little brood right there. That's all the rest of it's honey. We're good. Okay, let's put this back together and move on. The last time I was in here, these girls weren't too happy. Um, but if you follow my Instagram, you know that there's a giant spider living right here. And I'm probably going to dispatch it or otherwise get rid of it. I'll show you on the screen. Oh, no, oh, no, we don't. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, that's a big monster, ugly spider. All right, ladies. Okay, yes, these girls are. They're already a little on the jumpy side. Okay, I can look right here and tell that I do not see any brood. Most of these frames are empty. We're just going to go ahead and pull those out, see what we can see. Yeah, these girls are a little bit reactionary. Got guards launching already. Okay, drawing out some comb there. So I guess let me ask this question. Do any of you out there that, that keep bees, do you, do you parry your hives down a little bit before you do your OA treatment? I just don't want to leave a lot of honey on the hive when I do it. It's for the girls. It's not really for human consumption at this point. Um, but if you do, do me a favor, leave it in the comments. Okay, and the last one. Hi, ladies. We'll make sure that they do have a full medium of resources. We'll close it up and go on to the next one. This box is completely full. Let me go ahead and seal it up and move on. Right. White and blue don't need it. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so this is Juno's hive. Let's have a look in here. Make sure there's no brood in this upper chamber. If there's not, we'll go ahead and remove this box. Regardless of whether it has honey or not, it's still coming off. These girls are not too happy with me right now. All right. I know. So here's a fun fact. Did you know, and you may or may not know, but I've answered every comment that has ever come into this channel ever since the beginning four years ago. That's a lot of comments, and I'm not giving you canned responses either. I genuinely care what you have to say. Sometimes my answers are a little bit shorter, sometimes they're a bit longer, but I answer every single one of you. I guess that brings me to this. Have you met each other, everybody out there in the comments? I see a lot of folks commenting to me, but you guys don't comment back and forth very often. 
I see you on not just my videos, but other videos out there, so you should really introduce yourselves. Get to know each other. We're all one big community out here. We're all doing bees. Some of us like bug farmers, some of us don't. That's okay. There absolutely is no rule that says you have to like bug farmer. I know that some of us have differences of opinion as to how to do things. I think we all do things a little bit differently. We all learn different, different processes and ways of handling situations. But in the end, we're all beekeepers. We all like bees. We all like bee videos. So take a moment, get to know some of your uh, fellow subscribers out there. Anybody you see in the comments, get to know them and check on their uh, check on their username on the, on the in the comments. Maybe they have a channel. You might find a new channel you like. That said, if you find a channel you like better than mine, by all means, please subscribe to them. I hope you stick around here as well. I might get better. But uh, by all means, a lot of beekeepers out there that uh, some of us haven't met. A lot of beekeeping channels out there that some of you haven't seen. So there was a time... I guess we all go through this as, as, as creators, I'm talking to the YouTubers out there, that uh, we try to play it close to the vest and not really share other people's channels. And I, I admit it, I used to be like that when I, was, when I was starting up and I mean it's been a hard slog to, to get the subscribers that I have and I appreciate every single one of you. Let me put this away and I'll finish my thought. But something that I've noticed is that there is a lot of beekeeping content out there and there's enough of us that enjoy beekeeping content that we can easily run out of channels to watch. And I don't, I mean, I, I follow some channels that don't have many subscribers. I follow other channels that have a lot of subscribers. I like them all the same. So I guess what I'm saying is it's not a competition. Watch whoever you want. If I come across any good channels, I'm going to point them out, but I can tell you this, again, down in the comments, you're going to see a lot of subscribers, or a lot of subscribers that are commenting on the videos, and they each may have a channel of their own, so go to their go to their link and see what you can see there. And all that said, I sure do hope that you come back and check out my stuff as well. I will continue to make content. I'm going to drop a video every Friday. So there you go, and there you have it. Now I think we have to remove one more. Oh. There's your lid. There's your brick. And your cord. So. Okay, let me tell you. It is hot out here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this done today. Jeez. All right. All right, two more. That's empty and empty. I don't know if I'm going to make that last hive. Okay. Okay, these girls. Okay, these girls need a couple of frames. Some in there. Give you this one. I think you also need some down here. And you do. There you go. There you go. All right, ladies.
Alright. Alright, I've got one more to do. I don't know if I can do it. Holy moly, let me uh, move the cameras into the shade, go get something to drink, and we'll see if we can't uh, finish this up. All right, well, I tell you what, it is hot out here. I just went inside, had a tall glass of tea, tall glass of water, cooled down a little bit. I'm still hot and sweaty, this is miserable. We're gonna get through this last hive really quick and we're just gonna sign off and, and say see you next week. Holy crap. Okay, last one. Hi girls, they're bearding on the front. Hey ladies, I apologize in advance for what I'm about to do. Hello. Oh, this is a strong, strong, strong hive. Holy moly. Okay, there's only resources up here. I'm taking this box off right now. I'm just going to take it. Okay. This is a solid, solid box of honey. Holy moly. Take it. We'll look for brood. Oh, goodness. Okay, what do we have in here? Let's make sure these girls have resources. If they don't, I'll put that medium on, or that deep back on, because I know that deep is slap full. Okay, that is empty. Well, it's got, it's got nectar in it. It's not capped, though. Okay, I do see brood on this frame. Oh, and a solid frame of brood on this frame. Okay. Oh, I have a queen excluder here. How is that possible? Okay, we have a situation here. Okay, so so I just found something interesting here that I have to share. This box has a queen excluder on it. This box has a full frame of brood both sides. That means we have a whole other hive here. Which means we have a queen somewhere up here. I don't see her. She's got to be here. This is crazy. Both sides. All right, so this is going to become a back bench hive. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a, uh, a medium filled with honey on here and take everything that is on top above the queen excluder back to the back bench. Let's go have a look. Oh, goodness. Okay, here's a deep. That one is filled with resources. We're just gonna have to deal with it being on the bottom. It's too hot. Let's go grab your medium. Okay, ladies, here's your medium. We know that there's brood in there. Sorry if any bees got the old squash roni. It's not my intent. All right. Here you go, ladies. Level three, some food. A fancy lid, I'll give you an inner cover shortly. There you go. 
All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure, and we did manage to get to the end of this adventure. We had a few hurdles along the way, but we did manage to get through the entire front row, get them all broken down so that we had just a bee barn, the brood chamber, and one medium super on top. The white and the blue hive, they were already set up that way, but each one of the girls, including the sage hive, now have a full super medium super on top of their hive and that's it that's all that they get um they will be in good shape now we did run into a snag when we got to the sage hive i was the first snag i, I overheated and i had to actually put a pause on this whole operation run inside get some some cool air some iced tea and some some ice water but i cooled down and i came back out here and found out that i had left the queen excluder on the sage hive had no idea that it was there i hadn't been in that hive in a while not since harvest and uh i didn't expect to see what i saw there anyways we managed to do a split. Now we have two sage, sage part one and part two. Part two's back on the bench. This sage hive is in good shape, so all is right with the world. So there you go. With all of that said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And before I ask you to subscribe and ring the bell, while you're commenting on my video, I want you to take a look around. See some of the other people that are down there. I, I see you folks that watch and comment on my video, commenting on other folks' videos. And I know that a lot of you have channels so, I mean, you're welcome to hawk your channel down in my, in my description. You can talk about your channel, talk about my channel. Doesn't matter. Introduce yourself to some of the other folks down there. There's plenty of, plenty of views to go around. I'm not stingy with my subscribers. Share them with everybody. We're all in this together. And we all like bees and we'll have a, a similar passion. So uh, introduce yourself to other beekeepers. Go visit their channels. Like, comment, subscribe to them. And I hope you come back and like, comment, subscribe to mine. So with all of that said, be happy. And I will see you next week. Take care. Have a great day.